Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to our Record Town Council meeting, Monday, September 11th, 2017. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tonight we have a special request. I'd just like to ask for a special moment of silence tonight to send our thoughts and prayers to the victims and first responders of 9-11. Ms. Berry, roll call, please. Councilman Connolly. Absent. Councilman Gillespie. Here. Councilman Mesa. Here. Councilman Morrison. Here. Councilman Seelock. Here. Vice Mayor Seelock. Here. And Mayor Clark. Here, thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, approval of regular council minutes for August the 28th, 2017. Can I have a motion, please? Mr. Mayor, I move that you approve the regular council meeting minutes of August the 28th, 2017. Second. We have a motion to second in discussion. Hearing none. Ms. Berry, roll call. Councilman Gillespie? Here. Councilman Meza? Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. Councilman Seelock? Yes. And Vice Mayor Seelock? Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, received petitions or correspondence from the public. Jennifer, do we have anyone signed up? None this evening, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. All right, moving on to reports. Report of special committees, town officials, and town manager. Joe Walsh. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mr. Mayor and members of town council, it is my pleasure to announce that I have appointed Mr. Kerry McGallis as chief of police for the town of Front Royal. Um, he has an extensive background in law enforcement and has proven himself as an approachable and professional public servant. Throughout the interview process, he is found to be a clear communicator who understands the importance of community policing. He brings leadership, respect, professionalism, and dedication to our citizens of this community. He is leading the Warren County Sheriff's Office, where he has served since 1998, most recently in the position as major. He plans to assume his role as Chief of Police the first week in October. If I can ask uh, Carrie to come on up here, or just a formal uh, introduction to the council. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Gary. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Well, I guess I should call you Kyle. Kale. Chief Kyle. <laughs> I, I'll answer to just about anything. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a second. I, my given name is Carrie. I go by Kale. My middle initial is Lane. Uh, middle name is Lane, so uh, they were going to attempt to call me KL when when I was younger. It just kind of morphed into KL. So, well, on behalf of the town council, we welcome you to the new chief of yeah. Thank you, Mayor. I certainly do appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. Kyle, you want to stick around a little later so the council can shake your hand? And yes, sir. Absolutely. Get a few promises. Yes, sir. I didn't expect nothing less. Thank you. <laughs> Mayor, that concludes my report. Thank you, Joe. All right, requests and inquiries of council members. Hearing none, report of the mayor. There being none, proposals for addition, deletion items to the agenda. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to propose the addition of a budget amendment for the sale of the old police station department at 24 West Main Street. We have a motion. Can we get a second? A second. A motion, second. Any discussion? This does require 100% participation for yes or no. Ms. Barry, roll call. Councilman Gillespie? Yes. Councilman Meza? Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. Councilman Seelock? Yes. And Vice Mayor Seelock? Yes. Thank you. Okay, we'll move that to item number 11. All right, consent agenda items. The roll call vote is going to be required for council approval on the DMV 
Highway Safety Grants and Liaison Committee meeting items. Correction of motion for enforcement, encroachment of 311 uh, Blue Ridge Avenue. We kind of did the wrong address last week. Uh, revision to policy for fixed video equipment in public areas. Bid for bridge inspection flow grading services. Bid for reels for overnight cable for the energy services. Bid on a 30-year water model project. And bid for construction of the Crosby River Trail. I'm going to have a motion. Mr. Mayor, I hope that we approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Berry, roll call, please. Councilman Gillespie? Yes. Councilman Mazza? Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. Councilman Seelong? Yes. And Vice Mayor Seelong? Yes. Thank you. All right. Number eight, Council approval. Ordinance on proposed vacation of the right of way at 1521 North Roll Avenue. David Butler, second reading. Gentlemen, can I have a motion, please? Mr. Mayor, I move that Council adopt on its second and final reading an ordinance to conditionally vacate a portion of 16th Street and two unimproved alleys addressed at 1521 North Royal Avenue to David and Jean Butler. And that the ordinance states that the lots that are created by the vacation of the right of way be substantially five quarter acre lots, <clears throat> 75 foot in width by 100 foot, 150 feet in length along Bel Belmont Avenue meeting all town code requirements as stated in Mr. Butler's R intent statement by David E. Butler dated November 11th, 2016. Second. I have a motion second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Berry, roll call please. Councilman Gillespie? Yes. Councilman Meza? Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. Councilman Seelock? Yes. And Vice Mayor Seelock? Yes. Thank you. All right, number 10, council approval. 2009 resolution for abandonment undeveloped right away and authorized conveyance of an undeveloped portion of West 8th Street to William and Biggs and William J. Biggs and approved payment of claims associated with a fence and gate. Mr. Mayor, uh, would we like to do number nine first? For Llewellyn. Oh, I'm sorry. We skipped Llewellyn. I'm sorry. Council uh, approval for the Well LLC, Shadow Avenue LLC, uh, gift, uh, deed of gift uh, conservation easement and resolution. Can I get a motion, please? I move that the town council approve and accept the deed of gift of conservation easement and resolution <coughs> from the Llewellyn LLC, Shenandoah Avenue LLC, of approximately 40 acres located on Route 340 and along the South Fork of Shenandoah River with the condition that the plat be revised to conform to the Planning Commission's recommendation to eliminate Area B. And that Council acknowledges that the said conservation easement conforms to the town's comprehensive plan. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? And I do apologize for, for missing that uh, number nine. Uh, we have a motion to second. Uh, Ms. Berry, roll call, please. Councilman Gillespie? Yes. Councilman Mezzo? Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. Councilman Seelock? Yes. And Vice Mayor Seelock? Yes. Thank you. All right, now moving on to 10, Council approval for the 2009 resolution to abandon undeveloped right away and authorize conveyance of the undeveloped portion of West 8th Street to William M. Biggs and William J. Biggs and approved payment of claims associated with the fence and gates. Mr. Mayor, I move the council approve the interpretation. I'm not aware of the 2009 resolution of abandonment, undeveloped right away, and authorized advance of an undeveloped portion of West 8th Street to William M. Biggs and William J. Biggs, as presented. I further move that the council approve the payment of the claim of the property damages to the Biggs fence and gate to the amount of $2,586.83, said claim to be deducted from the $30,000 owed to the town for the property. Uh, referred to in, in the November the 9th resolution in 2009. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. A motion, second. Any discussion? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this was when I was a mayor. This is something that came up during my tenure, and it got lost in the shuffle. And uh, Mr. Biggs and I have talked about it numerous times, and his attorney and 
hopefully this time it gets approved and recorded according to what we approved in 2009. Anyone else? Ms. Berry, roll call please. Councilman Gillespie? Yes. Councilman Meza? Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. Councilman Seelock? Yes. And Vice Mayor Seelock? Yes. All right, finally we have uh, item number 11, Council Approval Budget Amendment for Sale of the Old Police Department, 24 West Street, Main Street, Ms. Perry. Summer? Council is requested to approve a budget amendment totaling $275,000 for the sale of the Old Police Department located at 24 West Main Street. The amount of $22,000 will be used to pay the realtor and the amount of $253,000 will be placed into contingency for future use at the discretion of Town Council. We have a motion, please. Mr. Mayor, I move the council approve the budget amendment totaling $275,000 for the sale of the old police department located at 24 West Main Street. $22,000 for the realtor cost. The amount of $253,000 will be placed into our contingency fund for further use at the discretion of the town council. Second. We have a motion, second. Any discussion? Okay, none. Ms. Berry? Councilman Gillespie? Yes. Councilman Meza? Yes. Councilman Morrison? Yes. Councilman Seelong? Yes. And Vice Mayor Tewa? Yes. Thank you. Any more business coming before the town council? This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>